Hey, good morning, Chuck here with Apple Drains. Let me show you a quick little test to test for groundwater. You know, if you're gonna put in a French drain, remember what a French drain does. It collects subsurface water. You know, water rises up, comes through the, the aggregate into the pipe, and the pipe carries it away. So a real quick, simple little test. Grab yourself your post hole diggers. Let's find out where that groundwater is. You know, we're here in Florida and it hasn't rained now. It, we're actually in a drought. <laughs> um, we get afternoon rains, but it hasn't rained enough to solve the drought problem at all. And basically, we're gonna see how deep right now the groundwater is. So take a look. Basically, I'm just gonna dig a hole and see what we find. I'll bring the camera over here as soon as I hit water. Okay, take a look. We're down about 20 inches. And you can see it. See if you can get it, watch it. See the movement? That's groundwater, it's rising up. Reason it rises up here, we gave it a place to go. We'll let it run here for a few seconds. See how high it actually rises. I'm gonna go grab the tape measure while this fills up. Okay, here's our tape measure. I've got two feet marked out on it, but just take a look. We're gonna just hit the water, just touch that water right there. And we're at 16, where is it? 16 inches. That's how deep that water is. And it's still rising, it's still coming up. And I would imagine that within another five minutes, that groundwater is gonna be probably up here around 10 inches deep. That's where the top of the groundwater will be. So if you live in a clay soil area, right, and you've got a flooded yard, I would suggest, you know, check it out. Go ahead and dig a hole with your post hole diggers, a couple feet deep. You may not get this groundwater straight away like we do here in Florida, but let it sit overnight. Check it in the morning. See how much water has collected in that hole. That's telling you the groundwater, you know, the water table. And that's the level that you really need to put that French drain. So many questions about how much fall does a French drain need? You know, if you've got a level yard, I just showed you the groundwater and it's still rising. We'll take a look at that at the end of the video. We'll just check it. It'll be five minutes, six minutes of water rising. But if you have a level yard and you're trying to move water, you're going to need a sump pump. And you need to discharge to daylight. In other words, it needs to come out on top of the ground or out in the curb or to a storm drain. And if you're trying to lift the water from the backyard, pump it around to the front yard, putting it into a drain field, it's not gonna work. And all you're doing is just pushing that water back in a big circle and you're gonna end up with a flooded front yard or it just didn't solve the problem. Remember that you've got to have a place for water to go. And that's the most important thing about any drainage system. When I come out to give an estimate, the first thing I look at is where we're gonna send the water. The first thing, okay, and then you look at the rest of the problem. But we need to know where we can discharge the water. So, am I giving away trade secrets? Of course not. This is basic stuff. If you give water a place to go, 
it will go there. It's that simple. The hole, the, the little hole I just dug gives you that example. You know, as we dig down, it's dry. But as soon as we pull those post hole diggers out, we gave water a place to go and it went there. It's that simple. There's pressure in the ground and it's all equal, okay? It's equal. So once you relieve that pressure, give it a place to go, that water will go there, I promise. Okay, let's dig another hole, see what happens. What we want to find out is at the same level, we're about 30 feet from the other hole. Okay, I just hit water. Simple test, guys. Find it out. Remember, if you're in clay soil, you would dig a hole. It's not going to come in this fast in the clay. Water moves very slow through the clay. But dig a hole, wait till tomorrow morning, see how much water is collected. That'll tell you the level of water in your ground, the water table, groundwater. This was our first hole. You can see it's it's still 10 inches, it might be 9 inches down below the grade there, and that's groundwater. And the other one, you can see the pile over there. It's about 35 feet away, maybe 40. It's the same depth, same depth. Okay, I'm going to cover it up. Just wanted to show you. Can you hear that water? You can see it now here at the top. Look at this. That's groundwater. Okay, let's review real quick. What we did was we checked for the level of water in the ground. You can do this in any part of the country, whether you're up in Canada, whether you're in California, whether you're in Nashville. You dig a hole, find out, dig it down a couple feet, let it set. If you don't see immediate water coming in, that tells you that you know there's maybe it's dry. But let it sit overnight and see what happens. See if that water comes in. In the clay, that water is very slow to migrate through to a discharge. And that's what the hole is, it's a discharge. Think about the French drain, what it actually does. It collects subsurface water. You've got you know, perforated pipe surrounded by gravel that has to lead to an open discharge. You cannot pump this water from the backyard to the front yard and put it back underground. And I just showed you that with two different holes. You're basically just putting that water back down in the ground. It's not going anywhere. And perhaps you'll create even more of a problem as it rains and that groundwater rises higher. Don't do that. It needs to go to an outlet, whether it be the curb, the street, the yard, <laughs> you know, or a storm drain. But you've got to have an open discharge for this to work. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Okay, just one final look down in this hole, then we'll cover it up. But I just want you to see, just in that few minutes that we were talking, you know, now we're at one foot. Can you see that? See that ground level says one foot. That's where the water level is. It's still rising and it's not gonna overflow, but it's gonna get pretty close to the top here after a little while. You know, it sounds like I'm giving away trade secrets, right? But you know what? This is just gravity and it's basics. It's so basic stuff. This is not a trade secret. And people get so confused. They ask the question, how deep do we need to dig? Do we need to put 10 coats of Blackjack 57 on the wall? Blackjack works great, guys, but what makes the system work is drainage.